Compton at the DMG Mori Open House. Uh, the seven world premieres here this week. And the one we're looking at now is the DMU 40 Plus. And this gentleman, Sasha, is going to tell us all about this machine. Um, firstly, Sasha, why have you introduced the DMU 40 and what is it going to replace? Okay. So this is the newest product of our factory Deckel Mauseba. And this machine is going to replace the DMU 50, second generation. So we have implemented all measurements to increase the quality, the accuracy of the DMU 50, second generation based on the DMU 50, third generation. And all in all, you can find these measurements on the DMU 40. Okay, let, let, let's, let's think that someone hasn't already got a DMU 50 that you talk about and they're just interested in this machine. Why would they be interested in a DMU 40? It's a universal machine. We have a traveling range in X of 550 millimeter and Y of 450 and Z of 420. So all in all, we have a huge working envelope for this style of machine. We have different versions of the machine available. It's a kind of a modular kit. So means we have three different versions. We have the basic version, we have the plus version, as well as the pro version. And in every version, you have different options available. So, Okay, now is it a full five axis machine in terms of its simultaneous capabilities at three plus two? Yeah. Because you've got a lot of five axis within the portfolio. Yeah. Where's this one's benchmark? So the benchmark of this machine is uh, the DMU 50 second generation. So it's a real five axis machine in uh, all axis, yeah. And, and you've got here a, a PH150, so you're looking towards automation here. Exactly. This is something exactly. that your five axis users are starting to really embrace, is it? Yeah, is it, yeah. So we have uh, the PH150 as an automation solution available from our in-house product as well as a Robo2Go, yeah. Um, speed and accuracy, all of that on this machine? So uh, the accuracy in the highest version in the pro version is in the double ball bar test per plane, five micron. Yeah. So and depending on customer need, you can select an active chiller coolant concept, just a heat exchanger for the education sector. You are really flexible with the selection of options. Okay. Now this and and this machine. What are those? What are the points about the build of this machine that help it achieve? the accuracy that you're talking about? Is it down to the, the casting? Is it down to the, the, the thermal stability? Just pick on a couple yep. of the points okay. that have a real interest. So all in all, all starts with the machine bed. We have here now a single iron cast bed and we have more rigidity. Yeah? We have a special iron cast in using and therefore the rigidity was increased. Yeah? We have other options uh, like uh, the active chiller concept of the DMU 50 second, uh, third generation also implemented here. So we have all in all a really good concept for high accuracy classes. How exciting is this and who's going who's to be buying these machines? So it, it is uh, for normal job shoppers for the education sector. Uh, yeah, for almost every customers. Uh, which uh, have this working envelope and using, yeah? And you have technology cycles, 55 of them in total, all available on this machine or when it comes to milling and five axis? Yeah, we have technology cycles. For instance, we have the ATC, automatic turn tuning cycle, means we can uh, increase uh, the velocity, the speed of, uh, of the machine itself and to, uh, to bring the machine in conditions to manufacture the part in really good conditions, yeah? 